Hey guys, welcome to a special weekend episode. This is the first video in a series of building this koi pond. And uh, as you can see here, we have a fairly large hole. This is after about three days worth of work. Um, you can see it's starting to shape up. This actually started as an above ground pool that was dug in ground and um, what happened was uh, when that got torn out there was a giant hole in the ground and uh, my friend has decided to uh, to turn that into a pond. We think this is probably going to be around 7,000 gallons or so. I'm not quite sure but it is rather large. Uh, I'd say it's probably about 20 feet by uh, 20 feet or so and uh, just to get an idea um, I believe this is going to be about four feet deep uh, as well at, th at the deepest point there in the middle. The biggest challenge that we've actually run into is the amount of rocks in the ground itself. Um, on this nice big level here you can see quite a bit of sand. That's actually where the bottom of the pool was located uh, and that's given us a pretty good base. Um, to work from and uh, this um, dirt over here it looks a little wet uh, that's the stuff that we just brought in today to build out a little bit of a, a shelf uh, that's going to be kind of the, the viewing spot from over here um, and we have a giant skimmer box over there go take a look at that real quick all of these rocks here that you see piled up those are actually in the hole itself uh, so that gives you an idea of how much rock is in this ground and how much work it is to uh, to work with this ground But we do have a fairly large size uh, Skimmer box here. I believe this is a uh, two inch lines here space for a pretty good size pump in there uh, We've got the skimmer bucket right there, and I think what we're gonna do. This is the overflow here we're going to uh, tee that off or elbow it and send it off down into the lower part of the, uh, the backyard there. And then this is the pump side. We're going to uh, elbow that off again, or maybe a 45, and wrap that along the top side of the pond here. Um, dug down, you know, where the liner is going to wrap over the top. And uh, we're going to try to get that all the way over here to uh, the waterfall. We've just kind of placed that up there for now. Not quite sure where it's actually going to go, but uh, it's a pretty good representation of uh, where that waterfall is going to start. And then it's going to kick down here um, into the pond. I believe we're going to get probably two or three levels uh, out of the waterfall and maybe use some, some slate or some shale for that or whatnot. Um, but we do have some electrical conduit run back behind here and uh, there is a post over there right there and uh, that's where the electrical is going to uh, to make it all the way over there um, we do have the string in the pond and that's just kind of mapping out that along with the uh, along with the uh, the laser level and the and the spray paint kind of marks out where that water height, that max water height is going to be. And uh, we're just working at it. Uh, as you can see, the shelves are probably about 50% of the way built. Uh, we've still got quite a bit of uh, gravel to bring in, so we'll start to build out those shelves a little bit better. But we've got, you know, the better part of this shelf here built. And uh, the far shelf over there still needs to be dug out a little bit from that bank. And uh, this one is about halfway there. Um, all of these shelves need to be worked a little bit, uh, sculpted a little bit, because as you can see, we've got a very straight angle there, and uh, we want to try to make this as natural as possible. But it'll be a pretty good view uh, from up at the house, and uh, it's going to be a very, very large water feature in this backyard. But, as you can imagine, walking up to the pool here, hundreds of koi in the pond, and uh, having the waterfall right there, 
can walk over here and we'll have the skimmer box hidden so you can just walk right up on top pop the top off and uh, clean out that box so anyways that's kind of the plan uh, as you can see it's very much in the works but uh, I'll shoot a few more videos on the progress of this uh, as it goes along but for right now we've got a lot of dirt left to move a lot of sculpting left to do and then once that liner gets in uh, there'll be a lot of rocks already on site ready to go in that pond so I'm really looking forward to rocking the pond anyways guys hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later